it begins with a legend, like a map. So let us sit upon the ground and tell sweet stories of the depth of things. All of this begins the moment the tragedy of 9-11 occurs. That the collapse, the falling back, and here onto a linoleum floor, meaning the ordinary surface of things, suddenly what erupts is the watcher language, a type of musical expression that begins to flow through my hand and brings forth the question of why do we not remember who we are? Why would we commit to a narrative that seemingly would not ever reveal why, but forever lead us on a quest of, I need to, I need to make some sense of this lest I go mad, and thus we have our human heart, arts and heart that weathers the storm, doesn't get out of it, but tries to make something of it. And that's why as I followed the flow of the watchers, really not knowing what would emerge, Kuan Yin, the Chinese mother goddess, starts to emerge, but also starts to be drawn together, literally drawn together. And we think about this as coherence, meaning why would it be here? Why would it be on the floor? Why would, as in a map, the story that's going to be presented over the next 22 years reveal a place for us. This is now that we're intimate. Let's consider the roots of the tree. Let's consider what's beneath the ordinary. But let's not abandon the ordinary. Let's not transform the linoleum into gold. Let's transform our ordinary thinking into the deeper golden nature of the possibility of who we are. Because this is a manifestation of imagination. Imagination meaning a bridge to a story that doesn't try to enslave us with a belief, but in a deeper beauty tries to restore us to a sense that maybe, as we see here, the story is connected. Like our body, maybe our neurology is telling us it's not one part of us that will finally light up, but from our depths. And this is where we see in depth this story of Tor, which I have talked about but the change in the physiology of an elongated head, a different physiology that held the knowledge of direct knowledge. And this being in our ancient depths, being the root system from which we then take this daring step into the chalice of the star body, being composed of light and the story of the journey, the story of the apple, the gift of unique identity. And again, the journey of birth and generation. Because we know through birth and generation that the gift of the apple is not simply the gift of life, it's also the inevitability of death. So the question then is, where do we look when this is true? And what is extraordinary here is that quite literally, everyone's souls cannot avoid contact with the underlying narrative that suggests now that after a very, very, very long time, as a matter of fact, millions of years, we work to create a vessel, a vehicle, that would finally honor the life and the death, not simply of oneself or of one generation, but the life and death of the whole and holy story of the human journey, which is why the mother is the first to return here. She says, I'm the knowledge of your weave. I'm the knowledge that, like the cells and atoms that create and sustain your body, everything is essential to the weave of the whole. All is whole and holy. All is based upon love with a capital L. But I could only tell you this when you're no longer standing above me. But you're finally in relationship intimately with me. And like looking down into a pond, when we think of the koi pond, the great Zen gardens, it was we can contemplate our depth because we're not trying to get somewhere here. We can feel secure here because this is home. It's an environment where we're invited to be intimate. So if we think of this as a key to who and what we are, because art is never for the artist alone. It's the language of creation that flows through the artist. 
and creates a context that lets us understand not the artist, but the creative spirit reframing itself so that finally we can put it together like a legend. This is the legend of who and what we are as human is a legend. It's a legend that millions, 18 and a half million years ago, we had a very different physiology and our pyramids and our star cultures were connected. But to know who we were and are as human, we took this journey of the chalice, the hardening across the ages of this star body, of this light body into the material body, so that each of us finally, in the art that is first technology here, it's just paint, and it's intimate space, which is also first technology. What story do I love? Not what do I need to believe? I used to think I needed to believe when I needed to be above things. But now that I'm realizing that the flow of things says, you're finally home. You're finally putting an enormous story together that says you are born of legend. The map of who and what you are is a thing of wonder. And that only the imagination, only the sense of possibility, only the dream that maybe, just maybe, we're not here by a mistake. We're not here by chance. We're here by a greater beauty that demands relationship. If you want to know me, only you can transform the linoleum. But you can't change the form. You can change your relationship to it. And so as we look at the legend, as we look at the map, the journey now is possibly. It's ourselves that we have been seeking all along, woven of the legend that so has everything else we think of as human. And that's the story, or at least that's the beginning of the legend. <laughs>